So Meta AI just released their biggest code llama model. This is the first open rate large language model that is able to beat GPT-4 on coding related tasks. They updated the original blog from August 2024 that introduced the code llama series of models. The latest update is regarding code llama 70 billion model, which is the largest and best performing model in the code llama family. Now, this is going to be available in three different versions. The first one is the Code Lama 70 billion model. That is foundational model, which can be further fine-tuned for any specific tasks. There's a specialized version for Python. And then there is an instruct version, which is fine-tuned for understanding natural language instructions. Later in the video, I'll show you how to run this locally on your own machine. The Code Lama series of models are not a new architecture, but it's basically built on top of Llama 2. According to Meta, in their own benchmark testing, Code Llama uh, outperforms state of the art publicly available LLMs on code related tasks, which is very impressive when you compare it with GPT 4. So, the original GPT 4 that was released by OpenAI had a score of 67.0 on human evolved dataset. Human Evolve is a popular benchmark for programming. In comparison, this new model is able to achieve a Human Evolve test score of 77 point, which is substantially higher than any other open source large language model out there. And it's higher than the score reported by GPT-4. But keep in mind, this score is for the original version of GPT-4. We don't know the Human Evolve scores for the latest version of gpt 4 now, this was released under the same license as Llama 2, which means this can be used for both research as well as commercial purposes. Before showing you how to run this locally on your own machine, let me walk you through how this was trained. So, all the Code Llama models are based on the Llama 2 architecture, which are further trained for 500 billion tokens when it comes to 7 billion, 13, and 34 billion parameter versions. For 70 billion version, they use additional 500 billion tokens, which brings the total tokens to 1 trillion tokens. For the Python version, they used a data set of 100 billion tokens for supervised fine tuning. And then, since this model is supposed to have a longer context window of 16,000 tokens, they used additional data of 20 billion tokens. For the instruct fine tune version, they used 5 billion tokens and for the base version they just used 20 billion tokens additionally in order to access the model from meta you will need to fill out this request access form but if you don't want to do that this is already available in the hugging face format and by the time you see this video the bloke probably is going to have a quantized version as well now let me show you how to run this locally using olama so first and foremost, you will need to download Olama from their website. So here I'm running this on a Linux machine. So you just need to copy this command. For Mac OS, there is a downloadable file and support for Windows is coming soon. Here I'm using a VM from Mass Compute and I have partnered with them on my local GPT project. If you are interested in that, check out link for more details. After running that command, Olama is installed on our machine. Now, in order to run this 70 billion model, we're going to use this command run olama code llama and then 70 bill. You can also select specific quantized version. So, if you look here for different models, uh, there are different quantization versions or quantization levels. So, here are uh, the different quantization levels for the 70 billion model. So, if you're interested in a specific version, or specific quantization level, you can choose those here. It downloaded the model. Just keep in mind, it will take around 38 gigabytes. And now we can start typing our message in here. If you don't have access to hardware, you can use the Perplexity Lab version of Code Llama 70 build instruct model. So here I ask the same question, write me a function that outputs the Fibonacci sequence. And here's an implementation uh, in C++. Here's another quick test. So I asked it to uh, write HTML code for a web page that has a single button. Whenever we press the button, 
the background color is supposed to change to a random color and it's also supposed to show a random joke so it wrote the code here and i copied the code okay so we pasted the code here let's click run so it does show a button that says click me and yeah it changed the color as well as it showed a joke what did the zero say to the eight nice belt yeah like the joke is not that funny but at least it's doing what we asked it to do so this is pretty cool i'm going to do a more comprehensive comparison between this model and gpt4 since it's supposed to be on the level of gpt4 for coding related tasks which is pretty impressive for an open weights model okay here's the implementation from the olama version of code llama 70 build model for our prompt write me a function that outputs the fibonacci sequence now in this case it is actually using python which is pretty nice anyways this was a quick video on code llama 70 billion model really exciting to see the progress that we are making let me know what type of videos you want me to make on this specific model i would love to do a comparison between this and gpt4 so stay tuned for that thanks for watching and as always See you in the next one.